Hello and welcome. My name is Ian and today I'm going to show you how to measure current and voltage as well as Ohm's law. First we are going to start out with voltage which is abbreviated with a V. So we start out with this circuit. So how we measure voltage is that we take a multimeter and place its probes on either side of the resistor that we wish to measure the voltage of. When we do this we will get an output. That output can either be positive or it can be negative. It does not matter which it is because they will always have the same magnitude. The positive or negative only determines uh, if you have the correct placement of your probes in the positive and negative. Next we will move on to current, which is abbreviated with an I. Here we have the same circuit. The first thing we have to do is break the circuit. Secondly, we place in our anemeters, which will give you a current readout. Next, we are moving on to Ohm's law. Ohm's law is most easily, or most simply, defined as the current through a resistor between two points is directly proportional to the voltage between two points. Mathematically speaking, that means V, the voltage, is equal to the current multiplied by the resistor, the resistance of the resistor. Once you have that basic formulation, you can manipulate it to get your resistance, your voltage, and your current. So as you can see on the screen, we have V equals IR, which is the first one that I stated. We have R equals to V over I, which is resistance is equal to the voltage divided by the current. And lastly, we have I equals RV, which is I is equal to V, the voltage, divided by the resistance. So now here's an example of how to use Ohm's law properly. So what we are going to do is try and find the resistance of the resistor on the screen. So first we are going to break the circuit and place in the anemeter in order to get the current that is going through the system. After we do that we will then place in the multimeter and our probes in the correct position in order to get the voltage. Then we use Ohm's law modified to be R equals V over I with I being 2.8 amps, or 0.28 amps, sorry, and V is equal to 9 volts. So when we plug that in, R is equal to 9 divided by 0 0.28, and resistance comes out to be 32. And when we check, that is the same thing that we get on the readout. Thank you for watching, and now I hope that you know how to record voltage, current, and how to use Ohm's law. Thank you for watching.